Um, in the wake of last week's unrest after the grand jury decision in Ferguson, uh, President Obama had some uh, law enforcement officials and civil rights leaders to meet with him at the White House and at the meeting. He said, there is simmering distrust between too many police departments and communities of color. That's a quote. The administration also issue, issued two executive orders to address police militarization and reduce crime. Mark, the White House says that President Obama will not go to Ferguson this week. Uh, they are dodging questions on whether he will ever go to Ferguson. If this is all, is this, is this possible that this is all there is? And after all the unrest and all the drama from the White House, might this be the extent of their response? Contrary to what I heard some exceedingly handsome pundits say on uh, CBS's Face the Nation yesterday, I don't think the president should go to Ferguson. It's nice of you to say that about John Dickerson. I don't think he should go. Here's the thing. Okay. The Justice Department is still looking at... Uh, civil, a civil uh, rights violation in the case. They're also still looking at the relationship between the Ferguson Police Department uh, and the community. The president, uh, the, the Justice Department works for the president. If he goes there, it, he's going to politicize the thing because he is now a polarizing figure. I think the task force today, they seem like, blah, who cares some task force. But I think the president is going to do the hard work behind the scenes. The attorney general is going to do a tour of the country. He's also a polarizing figure. But I think going to Ferguson would be a mistake. The national media is obsessed with it. I don't think you should go. I still maintain the president should go to Ferguson for all the reasons that I've said before. I think it's a, a, this is a moment, and the president Obama is uniquely qualified to address the moment. Uh, he could give an important speech there, expand on some of the things he said uh, in, the, in the weeks leading up to the verdict and after the verdict or the decision, that is. Um, but I think the other thing is that, that there is a little bit more here to what's happened today that meets the eye, which is you know, the president, they're going to Congress. They're going to ask for, uh, for, for, for some funds for uh, body cameras. Body cameras are a big deal if there actually were widespread body cameras on police throughout the country. That would be a big, would make Doesn't a big change. Doesn't need to go to Ferguson to would, do would, that. Would mark, I, I, I see there are two separate points. Um, but I, so I think there's, th this is probably, this, there's more to lead that meets the eye to today, but I also think he should go to Ferguson. These are local issues. As much as we try to nationalize every story, and as much as this become a national issue, it's kind of become a national issue. It is issue. about mayors and city councils and local police forces and governors. And the president just, I just don't think he needs to be We are one long. big country. We are. E we are. Unum. We are a big country. But Out of many, he one. has spoken very well about this. That's he doesn't. Latin. Doesn't need to go on the ground to get done. Very Ivy League. <laughs> very, very Harvard for very you. Very Ivy League.